Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TVMI. It is Wednesday, June 24th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. I am back. I haven't been here officially for about the last three weeks. As you know, I did a number of interviews at the Banff World TV Festival. I thank everybody for participating. But I am here, and let's talk about some current TV news. And sadly, I must begin today with news on the passing of Dick Van Patten. We know Dick Van Patten as the star of Eight is Enough, which aired on ABC from 1977 to 1981. Dick Van Patten passed away yesterday at the age of 86 years old. He is remembered as being the ultimate TV dad, but he also appeared in a number of other regularly scheduled television series. This includes sitcom I Remember Mama on CBS from 1949 to 1956. This was based on the movie and the play called I Remember Mama. He also appeared on short-lived comedies, The Partners, The New Dick Van Dyke Show, and When Things Were Rotten. And he was on a short-lived drama on CBS called WIOU. Dick Van Patten began his career as a young child on Broadway. He had a career in this business spanning basically nine decades. And he also appeared in a number of Mel Brooks comedies, including High Anxiety, Spaceballs, and Robin Hood Men in Tights. Dick Van Patten, dead at the age of 86, he will always be fondly remembered as playing Tom Bradford on Eight is Enough. And I really wish some outlet would repeat Eight is Enough. Now, yesterday we launched a TVMI poll. I am asking you to tell us which of the upcoming new 20 primetime series on the broadcast networks this fall will be canceled first. If you check out today's newsletter, there is a link that will take you to the website to chime in with your pick. We would love to know what you think. In the weekly rating scorecard, ABC extended its dominance for the third consecutive week. This is based on the live plus same-day data for the week of June 15th. ABC won the week because of the 23.25 million viewers who tuned in for the sixth and the final game of the NBA Finals last Tuesday. But also a positive note for ABC was the series launch of Celebrity Family Feud on Sunday. Fox was also on the year-to-year -year plus side. I have more specifics for you. If you check out today's newsletter, there is a link that will take you to our website. Now, speaking of Family Feud, let's go to the weekly rating scorecard in syndication. Based on the week of June 8th, as a reminder, syndication is always one week behind the broadcast network's Family Feud led all strict programming for that week of June 8th. It beat normally dominant Wheel of Fortune by one-tenth of a rating point. Family Feud averaged a 6.1 rating. In households, Wheel of Fortune was a 6.0. And I have a complete rundown of the highlights in syndication for that week. I have to say Family Feud is a red, red hot show. TV Land has unveiled another new network logo. If you visit our website at www.tvmediainsights.com, you will see what the logo looks like. It reflects their new theme. Um, here's my thoughts on TV Land. I think this is a network that is really scrambling. They recently concluded the first season of Sitcom Younger. They have upcoming The Jim Gaffigan Show and Ambassador in the world of new comedies on TV Land. But at this point, I am not necessarily sure who they know the audience is. But check out the logo. I actually like it. Coming up on the air tonight is a new drama on USA Network called Mr. Robot. I have a description for you on Mr. Robot in today's newsletter. And today in TV history, let's go back to 1956. We had the debut of the Steve Allen Show, which was a comedy variety hour in prime time. It aired for five seasons on NBC. It moved to ABC in 1961. It ultimately concluded in first-run syndication in 1964. And then on this day in 1981 was the quiet series finale of the once monstrous hit Charlie's Angels. That aired on ABC for five seasons. The only original cast member that stayed on the show for all five seasons was Jacqueline Smith. By the time the original Charlie's Angels concluded, it didn't have much of an audience. But as you know, Charlie's Angels morphed into a theatrical movie franchise, and ABC tried to redo it a couple of years ago, and it did not work. 
And that is our daily video cast from TVMI on this 24th day of June. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you back tomorrow. Take care.